Hey guys, welcome back to LPLR Orchids. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, tonight we just want to look really quickly at the Phalaenopsis Dragon Heart. Uh, really fun hybrid. Great flower, great plant, uh, really, really beautiful. But very quickly, this plant was registered and I believe hybridized by uh, Eric Gu. Um, a guy named E. Gu uh, is the registration on the RHS website. For about the specific plant, it does have a leggy growth habit. As you can see, it's a bit tall and it, it crawls out like a lot of Phalaenopsis do. But on the on the upside, it uh, the roots tend to grow down into the soil, which is very nice. Uh, so they don't grow all leggy. The the roots tend to find the moisture, which is which is great, and they're easily trainable. You just bend it down in, and it'll it'll grow down into the media very nicely. The flowers, as you can see, have this uh, really nice yellow, like dragon heart. Uh, and yeah, it stands out. These fangs come out in front, so it has a very nice uh, central like column and lip development. And the coloration on the petals and sepals is quite nice with the, you know, this catching. I will say all of the pictures that we see look pretty consistent. So I figure this uh, was a plant that was know, awarded and, and then uh, was Meristem cloned uh, to produce all of these plants. They were readily available here. It was just registered in 2022. We just picked one up because I, I like the flower. Yeah. It's uh, grown at our work um, and grown really easily. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it, 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 it's a fairly new hybrid uh, on the scene. And I believe uh, Mr. Gu has now retired from hybridizing, at least from what uh, we see online in the plant business. Yeah, back to, again, uh, a few things about this plant. Like, so the, the very end flower, which we'll show, uh, you know, that was damaged from me bringing it from work because we had this plant growing at our workplace. Uh, is we, We've taken a lot of orchids over there just to bring some plant life to the workplace and uh, use it as a bit of a test kitchen. And so this plant was not fertilized over the last year. It was watered fairly regularly um, once a week by the office staff. It was kept upstairs in the boss's part of, of the job place. And so they kept after it, water it, you know, fairly regularly once a week. The damage that you see on the front flower is from carrying it back. When it came into bloom, I left it in and I'm like, oh, well, I'll bring it home and I'll you know, film a video of it and take pictures because it's really yeah, pretty. I could only find a box. I should have prepared better. I just got a box and I carried it and it was like covered. The The plant was mostly the leaves were in a box and then this was kind of like under a scarf and yeah, it fell over and I busted off one of the one of the buds that was just about to open. And then this last flower got both, I believe, cold damage because uh, it was like half exposed and then it fell over and got some mechanical damage. Yeah, don't just move plants. Like at least like, I don't know. We were just, I don't know. Our work is not far. I just packed it up. I'm like, it'll be fine. It wasn't fine. Not good. So that's my fault as a poor grower. Don't be lazy. Check back in to LPLR Orchid yeah. for uh, upcoming soon. The yeah. A bit of a paphiopedalum. And semi hydroponics, um, and perhaps we'll show the Tetrapsis green you know, on the edge here. Um, yeah, I'm not so, sure yet. Thanks, guys, and we will see you back here at El Pilar soon. Have a good one.